Hi everybody, welcome to the Planet 46 show. I'm Matt Price, this is Kyle Roberts. Kyle, what's going on this week? Uh, a lot of things. Uh, Spider-Man 4 gets an official title. Green Lantern Game has a new trailer and new Thor and Cat toys. All right, very cool. So first off, we found out the Spider-Man movie, the new one is going to be called... Amazing Spider-Man. Yeah. The Amazing Spider-Man, same Very as cool. the comic book title that's been <laughs> ongoing for a long time. Seems like a good thing, seems like it fits. We also saw our first real good look at the full costume with the mask and everything. Yeah, the picture, first of all, is really, really cool. I mean, yeah. it looks like it could be a poster. It might be the poster eventually. Yeah. I think the costume looks kind of goofy uh, if you have a, like a TMZ type photo or something yeah. like that. But in the right lighting and what they're going to do for the movie, I think it's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, I was. Uh, <laughs> I felt better about it after seeing this, um, and as I posted on my blog, it kind of has a Todd McFarlane kind of feel with mm -hmm. the pose they're going for there. Okay, and our question of the day: um, What do you think of the Spider-Man costume? Just leave your comments and uh, let us know, let what, us you know what you think. Yeah. And then another big movie coming out this summer is going to be Green Lantern. Mm -hmm. um, and what we found out is the game's got a new trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks pretty cool. You can play as uh, Hal Jordan who will be played by Ryan Reynolds in the movie. You, do, you can fly around with your Green Lantern ring, stuff like that. Yeah, it does look cool. I haven't seen a whole lot of the gameplay. There's a little bit of it in the trailer. Mm -hmm. But all the just little movie cut sequences look yeah. amazing. Yeah, it looks, looks pretty cool. We'll see if it uh, if the gameplay works out as well. So Cool. And then more things you can play with. There's going to be the toys of Thor and Captain America coming out this summer. And, of course, uh, the stars were at Toy Fair mm -hmm. this last week. Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans, checking out the toys. The um, Chris's. The Chris's. <laughs> I think, obviously, man, you should be able to sell a lot of toys with this because who does, who's not going to want a Thor hammer and a Captain America shield? Those, <laughs> there you are, go. those are exactly the toys that people are going to want. So there's going to be action figures, and you saw some of those as well, right? Yeah, just just looking at those action figures kind of getting my my wheels turning for uh, some stop motion. So we'll see, we'll see what we can do. <laughs> All right, let's take a look in the review file. All right, with Amazing Spider-Man 654.1. Matt, tell us a little bit about this uh, point one business. What's going on here? Uh, Marvel is doing with uh, a lot of their books a point one issue, and this is supposed to give you a jumping on point, kind of a little bit of recap, a little bit of uh, self-contained story so that you can get in and see how you like the series and maybe, you know, if you enjoy it, keep picking it up. Um, and a new Venom is in town in this one. <laughs> that's right. 654.1 is kind of a, almost an entirely a Venom story. Mm -hmm. uh, in the last issue, we found out uh, who the new Venom is. And I guess, spoiler warning if you haven't read it, Kyle. Splash Thompson. Splash Thompson, longtime Spider-Man friend. And, mm -hmm. you know, kind of harassed him in high school, became good friends later. He um, lost his legs during the war, so he's in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. But working with the government, they've discovered if they, uh, you know, sort of bond a soldier to this Venom symbiote, they can then use that and do sort of black ops, uh, secret agent type stuff. So it's sort of Flash Thompson as James Bond. Well, that's awesome. All right. Uh, Silver Surfer. New miniseries, Silver Surfer. Greg Pak is writing this one. We, of course, like Greg Pak from his mm -hmm. work on World War Hulk and other series. Um, Silver Surfer is briefly on Earth. He gets involved in a dispute, uh, but then it, some other things happen. It's basically a setup that by the end of the issue, Silver Surfer's in a position he hasn't been in in a long time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Greg Pak wrote the Silver Surfer really well during Planet Hulk, if you remember, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he does with this five-issue mini. Yeah, I would say in general, if you haven't read a Silver Surfer comic in a long time, this is probably one to pick up. It'll get you caught up and get you into his new status quo. Very cool. Uh, Jennifer Blood, number one, this is from Dynamite. Garth Ennis, uh, who you know from Preacher and Punisher and different books, uh, is doing a book about a suburban housewife who just happens to be uh, over when the kids go to bed. She gets her guns in her suit and goes out and shoots up mobsters. Of course. So, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, Garth Ennis is always kind of bloody and violent and, and so on, and this is no exception, but this is maybe closer to what he did on something like Hitman than what mm -hmm. he did on something, some of his books for Avatar, more of his harder edge stuff. So it's, it's, uh, it's dark and harder edge, but a little lighter than what you might expect from a Garth Ennis book. Very cool. And you want to mention a few others? Yeah, there's a bunch of good stuff this week. Avengers Academy featuring Taskmaster, Uncanny X-Force, where they deal with the aftermath of what happened with Apocalypse in the last issue. Uh, right Green stay. Lantern is about to kick off into this War of the Green Lanterns thing, so this is kind of the setup piece there. Uh, Formic Wars, prequel to Ender's Game. It's exclusively in comics. And then two from Dark Horse, Mighty Samson and Magnus Robot Fighter from the Jim Shooter line. I'm enjoying both of these. They're picking up as they go along, I think, getting better as they go. 
Very cool. Have you read all of these this week? I, I did. I tried to keep on all your, these. Yeah, yeah where are you at on your? Uh, I'm at I think 1760 or thereabouts to go. I'm a, I'm still on schedule. I was a little bit slower last week. Hopefully, I can make up some ground this week. Yeah, those of you don't know, he's trying to read 2011 comics in 2011. That's right. You can so, follow along on my blog every week. I will post the comics that I've read so you can see what's happened there. Very cool. All right, so some good comics this week. What's your pick, Kyle? I'm going to have to go with uh, Spider-Man. All right, I will make it a double, and we'll pick both Amazing Spider-Man, a good issue featuring the new Venom. Yeah. So for Kyle Roberts, I'm Matt Price. Thanks for watching.